when you superset your cheat meal. Excuse me, how many sets you got left? Pushing for the selfie. Welcome to this week's video. Let's begin. When your pre-workout is literally piss. That is when you just cut your losses and buy a new tub, sir. Or just buy the whole shop. My boyfriend bought 44 pounds of protein powder. I would not want to share a toilet with that guy. Or a gym with these people, apparently. I'm not taking it too far now. <laughs> We're just trying to work out. It's a whole... <laughs> Whole ass production. Maybe the king was in town? More! 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 Just because LK is traveling doesn't mean it's not an excuse. Meet Flinchy23. He didn't even flinch. Come on. So he's a deadlift world record holder. I'm not going to be the one to tell him that sumo doesn't count, but apparently people are actually doing that in the comment section. That does not count at all. Savage. I mean, regardless of the critique, he weighs 53 kilograms and is pulling 600 pounds. Gotta respect something about that. 19 year old classic physique winner. Nineteen years old. What took you so long? Nineteen years old classic physique. Getting closer, probably the smallest you will see me in the next 68 days. I think we have different definitions of small. I mean, this guy has an insane physique for 19 years old, amazing genetics. I had to readjust my goggles to understand how he's only 19. This guy was staring at his glutes. I wasn't, I promise. His glutes are literally striated. How on earth is this possible in a 19 year old boy? Caption that. Now sponsored by Derek and Gorilla Mode. Derek produces some legit products, but I don't think those are the supplements he's been taking. I mean, Tren with his Fruity Loops is probably more accurate. Incredible bodybuilding physique and the guy's going to be hugely successful. But does anyone else find it a little bit strange how we've normalized PED abuse amongst 19 year olds? His name is Anton underscore SWL for anyone wanting to see his jaw dropping posts. Holy how much juice is in the system? All of it. He sucked the carton dry. Nothing is better than going from miring to being mired. Me now on TRT and happiness versus last year on trend and depression. Be careful. Obviously was like 30 pounds of muscle bigger back then but not worth anything unless you happy. Go out there get some sun. Train hard and eat clean but don't go too far and put your mental health on the line. That was Oliver Forslin who was exactly that. A young guy juicing who gained huge success as a fitness model. He's built an incredible physique. Gymshark sponsorships and what would be thought of as the fitness influencer dream, who is now being very open about the side effects. The price of fame, if you will. Oliver is now 22, an old man in the game as it were. Someone's been doing their jaw exercise, hanging out with the boys. I'm convinced that Jeff's side is a waxwork. Come see him at Madame Tussauds. Does he just wake up with that pout? Oh yeah. All right, boys. I just started my first cycle today and their souls are getting oh, nice. And at 22 years old, Oliver Forslin is on TRT. I mean, that is a chilling thought. At 22, your fingers drip testosterone. What these PEDs do to people's endocrine systems is no joke. And by all accounts, it was also his mental health, his moods and his relationships that suffered. I wish him the best and this is far better communication, explaining to his young followers that it ain't all a gravy train of new whips. One day a fitness influencer will understand that you have to sit on the inside of the vehicle to get it going. Yet back then you were probably online selling the life to us all. Goes to show don't believe a thing you see. Read. Exactly. The fame boys selling hashtag juice lifestyle to their young followers whilst behind the scenes suffering from the consequences of their PED abuse. It's all an illusion. I call it the illusion industry. And we are now seeing more and more testimonials from people, for example, taking Tren 
I'm just explaining how awful it's been for them. Which leads me to saying thank you for watching the last video where some absolute donuts were selling magic pills to teens. And so this study looked at rats and monkeys, which to be fair you'd need to be to believe that guy. Great. Uh... And I've linked it above and below for anyone who missed it. My steroids ruined my back for four months and ended up looking like this. He's back. My steroids ruined my back for four months and ended up looking like this. And this is what my back looks like after a month break from steroids. I took a break from steroids to prove that I wasn't addicted and I'm not. But I will say that I've never disliked my body more. I feel like I lost everything I gained and somehow feel fat and skinny at the same time. Today was my first day back at the gym and it felt amazing. I was significantly weaker. I can't even curl 40 pounds anymore. But I've decided to go back on that. Set realistic long-term goals. Train naturally. Fall in love with the art of programming progressive overload. Immerse yourself into the science of training and trust the process. I'm back on gear and I have lost all the muscle. I'm gonna do it better this time and show you guys what's really going on. I've made a full-length YouTube video and that's where I'm gonna be answering all your questions and keeping you guys up to date. So if you're curious about what I'm doing, how I eat and how I work out, then that'll be the place to see it and hopefully I'll get some of that muscle back. I'm curious about those trousers, but yes, I'm also curious about your progress. This is what I drink every single day. It's a 2,400 calorie protein shake. I'm gonna be showing a lot more details about what it's like to be on gear and what you have to do. So I started putting it on YouTube. So if you want to see what I eat, what I take and all that, that's going to be on my YouTube channel. Where is he getting this information? A 2,400 calorie protein shake is about the standard calorie intake for an adult male. I get he's bulking, but you're going to have to borrow some of that guy's stash to follow this protocol. And so he seems a down to earth nice guy, but he's grossly misled. And I'm not surprised the amount of awful information on social media from juiced up disingenuous influencers. I have playlists full of evidence based videos, which explain the nuance behind multiple fitness questions and topics. I wish him the best. I originally thought that he was just trolling. Now I just think that he's lost in his fitness journey. Since hopping back on gear, a lot of people have been concerned for my health. We've gotten a lot of DMs that are very sweet. I really appreciate them. But ultimately, I made my bed and I got a lie in it. I don't want you guys wasting your time being concerned about me. I appreciate the advice, but I want you guys to know that I'm being as safe as I can. What we need are natural fitness celebrities that people can aspire to, such as apparently John Van Fitness. He comes with a six star rating. Wasn't me. When your biceps rip through the equipment, you're beach ready. My eyes do that without a filter. And to end your weekly reminder that it's chest day above all, TikTok superstar Shizzy got stabbed. When asked what happened to his attackers, he replied. And the next day he went and smashed chest as you do. People were like, yo, did Shizzy really hit chest day after getting stabbed in the chest? Yes. And the short answer to that is it was chest day. I mean, do I need to say more? I love chest day. I love chest pumps. See you soon.